Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Action Learning. If you are first time here on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Action Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement and new feature released in 21D, how to fulfill a sales order without picking and shipping and reduce inventory balances. This kind of business requirement will be utilized if you have post systems where you are not doing any picking or the shipping. You always have the inventory on hand, the balances and as and when the customer ordering the product and they are taking from the shop. So in those cases, you have to just book the order and then order will be placed and it will reduce the balances. So we'll learn how to enable all those features, required setups, and then we'll perform one transactions. So for enable the features, what you have to do, you have to first go to the setup and maintenance. So we'll go to the setup and maintenance. Within the setup and maintenance, you have to go to the order management. So we'll go to the order management. Once you redirect to the order management, you have to click on change feature opt-in. Once the moment you click on change feature opt-in, you have to go to the order management. Since I already enabled the feature, but I'll show you. So within the order management, you have to come down and you have option called reduce inventory when a sales order does not require picking or shipping. So this is what the feature you can utilize if your business having those such requirement. Once the moment you enable, you have to click on done. What it does basically it enabled new process definition. So we'll see those. So for that, you have to go to the task and click on search. Once the moment you click on search, you have to type manage process. So once the moment you click on manage process, so you have to go to the task. So manage orchestration process definition. So that is the task name. Once you redirect, you have to click on DOO and try to search. Once the moment you click on search, you will see their new process definition will be introduced called DOO inventory transaction process. The steps. So within this inventory transaction process, you have create inventory transaction. So it reduces the balances and then automatically it move, move to abating billing status. You can customize as well this orchestration based on your business requirement, whether you want to put a pause or you want some specific based on the EFF values, all those input, you can customize it. To customize the orchestration, you can refer our earlier videos and you can achieve those. So now we have already referred the new process definition, DO and inventory transaction process. Now what we do, basically we are to find inside the system, the order type. So let me show you a standard lookup. So you have to search task called manage standard lookups. Once the moment you click on that, you have to type the lookup type called aura do order and you have to search. Once the moment you click on search, it will show you aura do order types and you will see that I define one order type called direct. You can define based on your business requirement to differentiate whether the particular, the respective order type will be used for this reducing the inventory balances and does not need any kind of picking and shipping to fulfill the order. So based on your business requirement, you can achieve those and you have to do the association. So what we did, basically I did define the manage assignment percent. So if you type with the percent manage percent assign percent, so you have an option called manage process assignment rules for sales order. So this is the task name you have to utilize to associate your process definitions 
based on the order type based on the item based on the bo based on uh, you know the specific attribute so based on your business requirement you can customize it so what i did basically i defined the rule inside the system so if i click on the edit you can see that so my order type called direct and then the business unit called us1 business unit and then if you look at the process definition name called doo inventory transaction so i'm using the standard one if you want you can customize and based on that you can associate for that also you can refer our earlier videos now you have to make sure whenever you are defining the process assignment rules you have to make sure that you publish all these rules otherwise it won't apply while creating the sales order now you have to make sure other order management parameters as well so for that you have to go to the manage order parameter so let me search that so manage order management parameter that is the task name once you redirect to the manage order management parameters within that you have to make sure for the few parameter inventory transaction date for order line so that you have to choose as a current date and then process inventory transaction line as a group that you have to see so by default it will be no because we don't want it to be group and then process inventory transactions immediately so that is the third parameter so that you have to set as a yes so as or when you set it up as a yes then you have to define the warehouse the server entry where from it has to pick those material if your item belongs to the lot or the serial you have to define and then once you enable this flag then system will automatically reduce the inventory and automatically recognize your cox as well as your revenue so that accounting entries will be happen and then the transaction type in when you completed your transaction you will see all these kind of sales as a direct sales so that the new transaction type introduced so now we learn about the parameters now how we perform the transactions and what needs to be make sure so in this case you have to have your on hand available inside the system because if you book the order and you don't have sufficient stock to fulfill that particular order it will go into error then you have to resolve all those error into the inventory side so in order management we'll see a demo how we are placing the order and it reducing the inventory for that i have already taken a note of the item as well as the customer information so we'll copy that item number so first we'll go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management and within the inventory management we'll make sure that the stocks is available so if we click on the manage item quantities so we'll search for the on hand availability let's assume if you are on the retail shops so if they are having on hand available then only they book the order so they know in advance whether they are having those stocks or not right so same way in this scenario in this business use case you have to have the on hand availability so that as on when you are getting the order you are booking and it will automatically get fulfilled and then you can invoice it now will validate the on hand availability so i entered the item number and i will try to search so i am having the on hand availability and what i have to do basically i have to choose this server entry as well which server entry i want to pick those material so i will see that i am having three server entry and all three server entry will be having the stocks available we have validated the inventory on hand go to the order management and try to book out we'll click on the order management and we'll try to create a new order so let's wait yeah so you can see that you have to click on create order and then i will choose my business unit so us1 and then i will enter my customer so my customer is starting abc corporation so i entered my abc corporation and then what i will do i will enter the order type 
So I entered my order type I have chosen and then I will enter the my item. So I know that for this particular item, that item is available inside the stock and also I have validated via supply chain execution. So you don't need to validate if you are using the global order promising, you are defined already the ATP and all, then you will be getting all those messages. So you can immediately process your order so that you don't need to go to validate again and again within the supply chain execution. So once you add it, then what needs to be make sure. So you have to go to the shipment detail. Once you reaches to the shipment detail, you have to go to the supply and then you have to enter the warehouse. If you see that sovereignty field enabled and then you have to enter the warehouse detail. So I entered my warehouse detail 001. Once the moment I entered the warehouse detail, you can see that the sovereignty field is enabled for me to choose. If I click on the drop down, so where from I want this inventory to fulfill for the customer. So I have to choose. So I want it to be selected, the stores. And then at the line label, you can see that the order line detail, you have an attribute called allow inventory transaction. So if you enabled flag as a no, then it won't refer the create inventory transaction. It won't reduce your inventory balances. It will go for the awaiting shipping movement and it will request to perform picking and shipping. So you have to make sure that this attribute value must be as yes. See, there are option called override order line. So you can override, you can change the store detail as well. So either you selected at the header or the line level, and then you have an option enabled called manage lot and serial. So here you can define your quantity, you can define your lot number, you can define your serial number from and to. So whatever the serial number available inside the system within that sovereignty, it will get picked and it will get reduced from the system. So currently my item is not having any lot or the serial control enable, so it won't be effective. So once you enter, simply you have to click on OK and then you have to click on save. Once the moment you click on save, it will save in a draft and it will generate an order and then you have to click on submit. Once the moment you click on submit, we'll have to validate whether our new process definitions applied for this order or not and we'll see all the authorization steps. So now you can see that now it's moved to processing mode. So we'll release the hold. So we'll release the credit check hold. So I am releasing the hold. Once the moment I release the hold and I will click on refresh, then you can see that now it's start moving stock. And if I move to the switch to fulfillment view, and if I validate, you can see that DOO inventory transaction. And if you click on the authorization process number, you will see all those tasks. So first task is called inventory transaction that is started and then it will move immediately to abating billing means for this step it will automatically reduce the inventory and it will move to the further step so you can see that the hold released from the order and then we'll try to refresh and if we'll go to the fulfillment view so once you redirect to the fulfillment view within the orchestration process number, you will see that the inventory transaction is started and we'll try to refresh and wait for the process to complete. So you can see that the inventory transaction interfaced to inventory and now it will move to awaiting billing. So we'll refresh. Now you can see that the invoice is started and we'll go back to the order lines and we'll see the status. So we'll click on done and then you can see that. So now status move to interface to inventory and we'll refresh. So once inventory got reduced, it automatically moved to abating billing status. So we'll wait. So now you can see that the line status moved to abating billing. That means it reduces the inventory and we don't need to do pick and ship to fulfill an order. We can directly reduce the inventory from the inventory without doing the picking shipping. 
with having this feature enabled and achieve your business requirement thank you thank you for watching my channel fusion action planning keep subscribing keep watching happy learning